early morning thing. Just I get ready to head out. Now right now I'm legal for North Carolina and Georgia. That's why I have my tandem all the way back there. Normally I run it by number five. Anywhere up to about five or six, I normally be legal. But on this load, I had to slide it all the way back here to be legal. But when I get to, when I cross the last skip, I'm going to have to bring it back up to number five. That way I'll be legal for Florida. And being all the way back there, I'm not legal for Florida. Up to number five, I'm gonna have 35,660 on the trailer tandem. And 32,000 on my drives. So right here, I'm all the way back. I think I'm in number 13. I mean, hole number 13. That got me legal for North Carolina, South Carolina, and um, Georgia. But right now, I'm not legal for Florida. Okay, this is a way ticket I got at first when I was in number five. This legal for Florida, but if you notice, the trailer tandem is 35,660. So once I cross the last scale in Georgia, before I cross over into Florida, I'm gonna stop and slide my tandem back to hole number five. And that will put me back right here with these numbers. So I'll be legal for Florida bridge law and also be legal for Florida weight because Florida, you could run 36,000 on your tandems, whether it's your drives or your trailer tandem, you could run 36,000. So I'll be going in there with 35,660 and I'll still be legal. And when you're not sure, if you wait good or not, I always stop and scale it. Because some, some states will give you a chance. If you overweight and you get to the scale, like Virginia, they'll give you chances to fix it. But Georgia ain't giving you no chance. They're going to write you up. And then after they write you up, they're going to tell you you can fix it. But at that point, it's too late because they already write you up. When you pull on, when you pull on the scale in Georgia, and you see they come out there with that tape measure, you know what time it is. You're overweight, so they're gonna measure the length from your kingpin to your trailer tandem. That way, you don't try to slide it. What when they go inside to um? write you up and what Georgia will do they'll give you a chance to go inside the trailer and move the freight around but a lot of times that's not even going to be an option for you because you're going to have a seal on the trailer and if it's heavy depending on what you're carrying you ain't going to be able to move it by hand and that's a lot of weight to move around by hand so more than likely they're going to write you up if you cross the scale in Georgia when you're overweight. And if you can't make it to a truck stop to wait before you cross a Georgia scale, I recommend going around the scales. Because all them scales in Georgia you could bypass. It's a way to go around it. <music>